In this video, I'm going to talk about how to extricate your golf ball out of a bird's nest lie. Hi, I'm Ken Martin, PGA member and golf program instructor here at Kaiser University's College of Golf. If you haven't done so yet, please be certain to subscribe to our channel. Now, a bird's nest lie, what exactly is that? Most of you can most like picture uh, a bird's nest with the eggs in the middle of it. Oftentimes on the golf course, our golf ball misses a green and it'll bounce down into the rough. So these are good examples of a bird's nest. It's basically surrounded by grass all the way around. It's virtually impossible to get this golf ball out of here without getting golf grass between the ball and the club face. So instead of trying to make perfect contact, we're gonna basically hit this shot fat on purpose. So the shot that I'm demonstrating is just a short pitch onto a green. We need to get a little bit of elevation on it in order to make sure that it stops. And so to do that, we're just going to practice making certain that we hit it fat on purpose. The hardest thing to do is to make sure that you swing low enough and keep the energy up because you're moving earth and uh, the golf ball to get it on the green. It's a lot like playing a bunker shot, only this reacts a little bit differently than sand does. So in this case, the, I always recommend that you use a lofted golf club. You have to be a little careful. We're going to roll the face open on this shot so we get a little bit more loft. But when we do that, it's going to increase the amount of bounce on your golf club. So it's always good to use a wedge that has less bounce than more, uh, simply because a lot of times the ball is not still supported by grass. It might be actually down on the dirt. So we want to make sure we have minimal bounce. And then we're going to make sure that we use enough of an angle of approach, a steep enough angle of approach to make sure we find the ground, not just the top of the grass. So what that looks like is simply this. You're going to take a couple divots. And the idea is for me to be able to feel how steep I have to be to be able to make certain that I've found the ground. Once I have that feeling, I'm going to try to make contact about three inches behind this golf ball and keep enough energy up uh, so that the ball will flop up on the green. So we'll give it a go here. So that came out pretty nice. It actually came out faster than I thought, so it went a little bit further. But bottom line is I got the thing up and out without leaving the dreaded chunk shot not on the green. My goal with this shot is always to get it out of the bird's nest, give yourself a putt. If you make it, great. If not, two putts and you, go, and you move on. So give that one a go. It's like a bunker shot without the sand.